Islamophobia continues to threaten the security and mental health of Muslim students across the state. The California chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE, has released its latest report that documents cases of bullying and discrimination against Muslim students in California. Here's KPBS education reporter M.G. Perez. The PBS NewsHour introduced us to Hafsa Abdi, a high school student in Minnesota. Though born in the U.S., she was bullied because of her Somali and Muslim heritage. She says classmates were relentless. So they'd be like, oh, well, why are you making the bathroom dirty? You stinky Somalian, are you terrorist or stuff like that? Or go back to where you came from. Islamophobia continues to confront students across the country. In California, there's a new report that shows it's especially prevalent. The Council on American Islamic Relations, also called CARE, just released results of a survey conducted with more than 700 11 to 18-year-old Muslim students across the state. The survey found more than 47% of them reported being bullied by classmates for being Muslim. 55.7% felt unsafe in their schools. And about a third of them report having their traditional hijab head garment offensively touched. The kids are being surveyed are right here that go to school with your children and my children. Tazine Nizam is Associate Executive Director of CARE San Diego, which participated in the survey. She says responsibility rests with parents and other adults who model behavior. If a child shows up to school and is eating a falafel instead of a PB&J sandwich, that acceptability starts there. If a child shows up and their mother wears a hijab and drops them off, that, that acceptance of parents being different, looking different, also starts at a very young age. Here's a response from a 12-year-old San Diego student that was included in the survey. Quote, some people had told me that Donald Trump is going to kick you out of the United States and send you back to where you came from. End quote. Another student from Fremont in the Bay Area said, quote, my science teacher told me that my type likes flying planes into buildings. End quote. A lot of people feel like someone who looks like me can't be an American because of my skin color or the hijab that I'm wearing, and that makes me not an American. Hafsa and so many others are determined to shatter those stereotypes. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.